Hello and welcome to the PC Security Channel. This is the on-demand evaluation of Intezer Analyze. As it describes itself, all malware analysis tools under one platform. We're going to take a deeper look at all the features that it has, how you can use it, and how it compares with other similar tools. So to get started, we're going to take a look at the home screen. Now this is what you see when you sign up and you have an account. Over here, you have the option to upload a file and you can drag and drop. And on the right, you have the option to analyze by hash. This is pretty standard and similar to other tools like Hybrid Analysis and VT. If we scroll down, however, we have Trending Analysis, and this is something that's really interesting. And what it does is it gives you a bird's eye view of what other people are looking at right now. So for example, as you can see, we have a red line stealer and something called Stop Ransomware. So this is a great way to find new threats and also to do your research as a threat researcher or threat hunter. Now, if we click on this, as you can see, it takes us to its own page. And here we can see the ransomware, what it does, and we can go into the individual IOCs. The point is though, this is a feature that I really like. And having used this platform for over a month, I do think that this helps. Now, the other thing that's unique to Intezer as a platform is the classification techniques. So Total and other similar platforms often rely on AV engines to make the malware classification. But at Intezer, they have their own technology, which is based on code genes. So essentially, they break down the code into what they call code genes and use these small code fragments to detect similar threats. The idea is that fundamentally the code has to be recycled to create similar malware. So if you have an info stealer, it's going to have mostly the same code as other variants of the info stealer or similar threats to an info stealer. That's one way of classification and it isn't always going to be 100% accurate, but what it does do is give you some sort of classification that's really high level and easy to understand. So as you can see, everything we read here is very clear and that is, again, a refreshing change from what I see on other platforms. You can look at a ransomware sample in Vars Total, and it'll have 40 different names, half of which will be incomprehensible. Here, you can pretty much get a name that you can Google and you can find some sort of research or results on. And what you also have on the right is the IOCs and TTPs. All of this information at a bird's eye view is really handy, and I think this is one of the best features that Intezer as a platform has to offer. But now let's move on, and let's show you what a typical analysis looks like. So over here, I have our ransomware samples. I'm just going to pick a classic, like say, Jigsaw, and I'm going to drag and drop this into Intezer. And now you can see how the analysis process works, and it pops up with Jigsaw Locker. Now, if we click on strings or capabilities, we can get some details. So as you can see, we have some matches for defense evasion. If, if you go into strings, again, what's interesting here is we have the strings on the left, which is pretty standard. You'd get this on pretty much every platform. But if you look on the right, you can see that these strings are actually correlated with the specific threat. So in many ways, Intezer really helps you understand threats at a very high level without having to do all of the correlations yourself. Now, if we go into the other sections like TTPs, this shows us the MITRE attack techniques along with the severity and the exact details. And this is, of course, super useful if you're trying to classify threats or trying to defend against them because you have the exact auto run key here. You also have the copies it makes of itself and all of this information is available at a glance very quickly and easily. So from here we can get the process names it uses, Firefox.exe, Dropbox.exe, and if you've watched my analysis video of Jigsaw, you know that Jigsaw uses these processes. Now, if we want, we can do an extended dynamic execution, and this is carried out with Cape Sandbox. Once the analysis is done, you can see all the process in memory, the dropped files, and if you click on behavior, you can also see the screenshots. So for example, here we can see the jigsaw prompt message. If the malware communicates on the network, you can also get network activity from here. So you can get IPs to blacklist. You can also get file activity. So you can see what files it tried to modify. 
And if it's ransomware, obviously it's going to delete a lot of stuff. You can also see registry activity. So it's pretty much like comparing different snapshots of a system and it's quite effective. And I like the presentation of that as well in Intezer. Everything is very neat and easy to read. Now, another feature that I think is pretty unique about Intezer is it allows you to scan your endpoint directly. So if you want to check if a certain machine is infected, you can actually scan that endpoint using a very lightweight tool that you can download. And if you open it, it's just going to launch in command prompt. And once you paste your API key, it's going to do a system scan. Now I've already done one, so we can take a quick look at what the results look like. As you can see, we've done a scan of a certain computer here. And if we click on analysis, it's going to show us if any threats were detected. In this case, no threats were detected but we can also see all the trusted and unknown process that were found. We've got the code and string section. So it's basically the same code gene technology being used to look for any kind of malicious code executing within your active process. They also have a long list of integrations. So if you use Splunk or Simplify or something similar, you can connect those platforms with Intezer and it's going to do the analysis for you. Now, one thing I haven't talked about with regards to Intezer is the search function. Now it does have search on the home screen and you can search by family and search by string and that's quite useful. Personally, I've found that I usually just end up searching by family because that's a good way to find different types of threats. So for example, if let's say we're looking for dark side ransomware, we've got a couple of families here and if we just click on one, you will find all the associated samples along with their first total reports. Another thing that's really cool that you can do is you can track this threat and then it's going to notify you if something important happens, a new sample pops up. So that's quite useful. Overall though, the search feature is quite limited. And this is where I feel Intezer lags a little bit behind other platforms like Total. It's not very detailed. You don't have a lot of advanced search options. When it works, it works great. But when it doesn't work, it can be frustrating because then you have to essentially search for the threat somewhere else, get the hash, and then look up the hash in Intezer. Now, when it comes to visualizing analysis data, I feel like Intezer is based around a table format. So everything is organized as a table. I really like the theme overall. I think it's very clean and easy to understand where the information is and I've never gotten lost or confused within the UI. But what is missing here is some kind of connected visual representation like a graph. Forest Total Graphs does this really well and allows everyone to create their own graphs based on how they're exploring a threat. And this is just a really good visual representation that I miss when I'm using Intezer. So hopefully it's something they can add in the future. Now we're going to talk about some of the more advanced features that you have with Intezer. So for example, you can create a YAR rule directly from any sample that you've analyzed and it's going to auto-generate that. You can also obviously download files, reanalyze them, and there's also an option to use a private index. You can set up your own private classification as trusted or malicious, and you can even give it a family name and label. So it allows you to fully classify files manually. And I think that's really important because the code gene technology can't be right all of the time. And what I really like about Intezer is it excels at the things it's good at. So in terms of the layouts and the formats that they've chosen to go with, they have really perfected that. That's my take on Intezer. Definitely worth trying out if you've never looked at it before. Having used this for several months now, I definitely see it as a major platform when it comes to threat analysis and research. There'll be a link to the platform in the description if you want to check it out. If you would like to work with us to test your cybersecurity, you can check out tpsc.tech and feel free to reach out using the business inquiries page since we do offer a lot of options for collaboration. Thank you so much for watching this video. This is Leo, and as always, stay informed, stay secure.